Hey there guys and gals, this is your good buddy Steven and I'd like to welcome you back to the next episode of 5 Minute Tips. If this is your first time here, I'd like to thank you for watching. Be sure to catch our previous episodes. So today is episode number 4. Episode number 4. So if you're getting some value out of this and you have not already done so, uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, we love likes and we love comments, love questions. Uh, love all kinds of interactivity. So, um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to start my five minute timer and we're going to jump right in. All right, so today's episode is going to be something um, that is probably one of the most important things that you should be doing as a marketer that you are probably not doing as a marketer. And what I am talking about today is building a buyer persona or a buyer avatar. So what that means is, and this is literally step number one in, in your marketing plan. Step number one is gonna be figuring out who do you wanna sell to, you know, and figuring out who that person is. Once you know that, then you'll start to look at where that person, you know, hangs out, right? So you can get in front of them with your marketing. Um, there's lots of great tools that are available for this. Um, there's lots of uh, checklists and things like that, but there is a free tool that is available on the HubSpot uh, website that, I, frankly, it's really, really good. Um, it's really easy to use. It's really, um, it's just really, really easy. It's very intuitive is what I was going to say. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to HubSpot.com, H-U-B-S-P-O-T.com, and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the first page and you are going to look for Make My Persona. So under the heading Free Tools, Make My Persona. Now, one point that I, I feel compelled to kind of mention, I don't really care for really any of their other tools, okay? So, you know, if you're on here, you know, when you sign up, they're gonna start sending you stuff. I would just unsubscribe from it. I'm not a HubSpot fan. Uh, just, I prefer like other stuff for everything else. So. If I were you uh, and you use this tool, I would just unsubscribe if you sign up. Um, sometimes they make you sign up to use the tool, so I guess technically it's not free, but most of the time you shouldn't have to. And they may be different in different parts of the world. So anyway, you are going to click on that, make my persona, all right? And then once you scroll down, um, over here it will explain to you what is a buyer persona, so that's cool if you don't know what I'm talking about, they have a good presentation on that. But once you do, you're going to click on build my rep and you know, I've got five minutes, so I'm not going to be able to go through this in detail. All right. Um, but it, you're going to start in this wizard mode and that's what I'd suggest most of you stay in. All right. I suggest you stay in this wizard mode. All right. So, uh, in this, I'm going to say I am selling, you know, um, uh, recipes, dessert recipes and um, or something like that, all right? So f for whatever reason, you know, um, let's say that my avatar um, is, um, well, well, first off, let me mention, you're not gonna have one avatar. You're gonna have multiple avatars, right? So, you know, even if you only sell one product or one service, you are likely to have, you know, multiple avatars. So you're not gonna do this once, you're gonna do it multiple times. So you're gonna start off by naming your persona, okay? So we'll call this, we'll call this Mike, all right? And again, I can't really give you training on you know, the thought process behind this. Um, at this point, I'll do this in a longer training in the future, but for these, I just really wanted to show you the tool. So the tool is really the focus. So I'm gonna say Mike, and I'm gonna choose this guy. Mike looks good, all right? So I'm gonna go to the next step, all right? And so how old is Mike, right? So we're gonna say, um, this is a, let's say it's video games, okay, just for example. So Mike's 18, and what's the highest degree of education, all right? So we'll say that Mike has, uh, let's say that he has um, a high school, let's say he has a GED, all right? So we're gonna go through. So again, I can't, I don't have time in five minutes to go through all these, but what's gonna happen is as you scroll through these, when you're done at the very end, I can't show you that, um, then um, you are going to get this handy dandy, uh, you can download this, all right? That's what I wanted to show you. So, um, you know, again, um, buyer personas or avatars as they're called by some people, this is again, one of the most, it's not powerful, you, you gotta be doing this. If you're not doing this, you're not marketing, okay? You, you can't understand, you know, marketing is getting the right product in front of the right audience, right? 
you know, um, and so if you don't know who the audience is, you, you can't do marketing. So um, anyway, I hope that this was helpful. Um, if I would challenge you, if you're not doing this, go do it now. If you're selling a product or service, go start building out these personas. You know, I would say, depending on how many services and products you have, you know, you're gonna have an average of at least five to get started, okay? At least five to get started, all right? Well, that's it for this episode. Again, I appreciate you being here. I hope that you watch the uh, next episode. And if you're getting some value, please uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Five minutes is gone. Thanks, bye.